19 Herbal Remedies for Hair Growth Does it really work? Hair loss is a common concern for many men and women. There are many reasons your hair may fall out, from genetics to vitamin deficiencies to hormone changes. Some medical conditions, such as thyroid disease, may also cause hair to thin or fall out. There's no magic bullet for growing hair, but research has shown some herbs may slow hair loss or help promote new growth. It's important to note, however, that much of the research has been done on animals. Additional studies are needed to prove their effectiveness on humans. Stay tuned to learn how herbal remedies may be used to help improve your hair growth. Be sure to talk to your doctor before adding herbs to your daily routine, especially if your hair loss is caused by a medical condition. Herbal Hair Oils Hair oils, also called hair tonics, are herbal extracts mixed in a carrier oil base. Some hair oils include multiple herbs and carrier oils. Popular carrier oils used to make herbal oils are coconut oil, sweet almond oil, walnut oil, olive oil, mineral oil, jojoba oil, wheat germ oil. Some herbs used in herbal hair oils are Chinese hibiscus. Chinese hibiscus is an evergreen shrub. With edible, vibrant flowers are often used to make herbal tea. Hibiscus is thought to help stimulate hair follicles, increase follicle size, and increase hair growth. Brahmi Brahmi, also called Bacopa, is a creeping herb used in Ayurveda medicine. It contains alkaloids thought to activate proteins responsible for hair growth. Coat Buttons. Coat buttons is a creeping Ayurvedic herb and member of the Daisy family. It contains antioxidants and promotes hair growth on its own and in synergy with other herbs. Jatamansi. Jatamansi is a small shrub whose rhizome may speed hair growth. It is shown to increase hair growth in Alopsa caused by chemotherapy. Ginseng. Ginseng is an age-old natural remedy for many conditions, including hair loss. It contains saponins, which are believed to encourage hair growth by inhibiting 5A reductase. This is an enzyme related to hair loss in men. How to use? Some hair oils are formulated to use as a shampoo or a leave-in hair treatment, so take note of the manufacturer's instructions. The label will advise you on whether to apply it to damp or dry hair. Using clean hands, massage the hair oil directly to the scalp and rinse as directed. Polyherbal ointment. Herbal ointments, sometimes called herbal salves, are usually made by combining herbs with an oil like lanolin or petroleum jelly. Other ingredients may include beeswax or cocoa butter. Polyherbal ointments typically contain multiple herbal extracts. Some herbs used in polyherbal ointments are Gooseberry. Gooseberry is an Ayurvedic herb. It's used to strengthen hair and promote hair growth. 
It's also known to contain several antioxidants. Gotu Kola. Gotu Kola is one of the most popular Ayurvedic herbs. It's thought to increase hair length and stimulate hair growth, possibly by increasing blood circulation. Aloe vera. Aloe vera is a tropical plant and a popular folk remedy for burns and digestive problems. It may be also used to keep the scalp conditions and help it can support healthy health. Holly basil. Holly basil is a fragrant, adaptogenic herb known for its healing properties. It may help prevent hair loss caused by dandruff and itching for children in hormonal levels. How to use? Polyethyl ointments are usually applied directly to the scalp. With clean hands, massage the ointment into your scalp until absorbed as per manufacturer. Herbal creams. Herbal creams are also made from herb infused oils and water. They contain less oil and more water than herbal ointments and are easily absorbed by your skin. Some herbs used to make herbal creams are giant dodder. According to a 2008 study, giant daughter, a sprawling Ayurvedic plant, helps treat alopecia caused by steroid hormones by inhibiting the 5A reductose enzyme. Bitter apple. Bitter apple is a desert fruit bearing plant used in Ayurveda. Its dried fruit pulp is used to treat hair loss. Bitter apple contains glycones, which are compounds thought to initiate hair growth. False daisy. False daisy is an herb used in iron to increase hair growth. According to a study from 2014, false daisy helps stimulate hair follicles and provokes a faster hair growth stage in the plants. Night Flowering Jasmine This small flowering shrub is a native to South Asia. Night Flowering Jasmine initiated hair growth in rats and may be effective against other fish seeds. To use. With clean hands, massage the hair cream into your scalp or apply to hair from roots to tips as per manufacturer's instructions. Herbal gels. Herbal gels contain herbal extracts in a gel base. They typically don't contain oil. Herbs used in herbal gels to support healthy hair may include Fenugreek Fenugreek is a member of the pea family. It's a popular cooking spice with potential hair growing benefits. According to research from 2006, Fenugreek seed extract improved hair volume and hair thickness in men and women with moderate hair loss. Marking Nut This plant is found in the sub-Himalayan area and used in Ayurvedic and Siddha medicine to help hair grow. More research is needed on making nut to determine its effectiveness and safety. How to use Using clean hands, massage the gel into your scalp or apply to your hair from roots to tips as per manufacturer's instructions. 
Kubo Soma Suspension. Kubo Somas are liquid, crystalline nanoparticles. Kubo Soma suspensions are used to target the delivery of drugs and, in some cases, herbal remedies. Some herbs used in Kubo Soma suspensions for head growth are Oriental Arborvitae. Oriental Arborvitae is an evergreen tree and member of the Cypress family. It's a traditional remedy for baldness. According to a 2013 study, the herb helps hair grow by stimulating the growth stage in the cystic hair follicles. Espinocilla. Espinocilla is grown in Mexico. It's used to strengthen hair follicles and help maintain a healthy skin. According to a 2014 study, Espinocilla showed some hair growth in hair loss. Joji Berry This fruit-bearing shrub is used in traditional Chinese medicine to promote hair Georgi Berry contains zinc, a mineral thought to infuse the scalp with oil to help prevent dandruff, which can lead to hair loss. Tuber Fleece Flower This tuber is a traditional Chinese medicine remedy for hair loss. It contains compounds that inhibit 5A reductase enzymes. It also helps stimulate the growth stage in hair follicles. How to use? Using clean hands, comb in or apply to your hair from root to tip or as otherwise instructed. Use herbal cubosomal suspensions as directed by your doctor. Possible side effects and risks. The main risk of herbal hair growth products is allergic reaction. You should always do a patch test to check for an allergic reaction before using any herbs. To do this, Apply a small amount of product to the inside of your wrist. Leave on for at least 24 hours. If you haven't experienced any irritation within a day, it should be safe to apply elsewhere. If you do develop an allergic reaction, you may experience rash, hives, redness, itching, Difficulty breathing, dizziness, headache. Potential side effects of topical herbal hair growth products include thin hair, increased hair loss, dry scalp, scalp redness or irritation. The side effects of most herbs for hair growth aren't well studied in humans. There's not enough information to standardize dosing recommendations. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding shouldn't use herbs to grow hair unless under the supervision of a doctor or a qualified natural health practitioner. The bottom line. No herbal remedy can regrow a full head of hair. You should be wary of herbal products that claim to be a hair growth sensation. Research has shown that some herbs may help strengthen hair, support scalp health, improve hair thickness, or stimulate the hair growth cycle. Still, more clinical trials on humans are needed before herbal remedies become a mainstream hair growth treatment. 
any herb may be used in all types of herbal hair product preparation. But it may be difficult to find over-the-counter hair growth products that include herbs used in research. Your doctor or natural health practitioner may be able to help you find a remedy that best suits your needs. Be sure to talk with your doctor before use. They can walk you through your treatment options and advise you on any. Treatment.